Okay, so now we're ready for the actual retop pro uh, process to begin. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that my transforms are all frozen. So that's going to be over here. And my history is deleted, so we'll delete the history. And we'll freeze transformations. And then uh, I've already got the modeling toolkit up right here. But if you don't, you can just go to uh, Windows, Modeling Editors, Modeling Toolkit, and it'll pop up. For symmetry, I'm going to use Object X. You may need to use something different depending on how your geometry is oriented. It'll be pretty clear once you start adding points whether or not your symmetry settings are correct. I'm going to go ahead and make my surface live and select Quad Draw. Now, Quad Draw's got a bunch of random hotkeys, and they know it, so they put the hotkeys directly here in the menu, which is pretty great. So when I start clicking, I should see faces showing up, like points showing up on both sides, and I don't see that. So I'm going to just double check that everything, I wonder what's going on there. There may be some, some slight irregularity. Oh, that's OK. So I do like to have a center line typically. So I'm going to put points here in the middle. And then if you hold the shift key, you can just connect those points. And now that I've got that edge or that, that uh, corner back there, even though it wasn't showing up there when I was clicking, I think again, it was just getting confused about something. That is totally fine. So like where I put this edge here, I'm going to kind of need to be thinking about what I'm going to be connecting it to. Um, also, generally speaking, you sort of want to keep these things as regular as possible in terms of what, uh, what their shape is. And by regular, I mean square-like. So you can see it's having a little bit of trouble. There we go. So I'm just going to snap these together. If you just bring them together, and it looks like I've got a, an errant point out here that I put down a little bit earlier and I left it. So if you want to get rid of a point, you just hold uh, Control and Shift, and you can see when I mouse over it gives me this. And probably Control and Shift is going to be, yeah, Control, Shift, left, left mouse button, delete dot, so I get rid of it if I wanted. Or I can just add a point. Let's see if it'll do this. Not super thrilled about that. So let's just try a different approach. Uh, oh, I, I think what's going on here is I don't actually have these guys welded. Yeah, that's, that's the issue. Good times. So I'm just going to hop out of um, Quadra for a second. Tap the uh, F8 key. Basically, I've got two verts here that are just not welding in Quadra. So I'm just going to come over to uh, Edit Mesh, Merge, look at the options here. That's probably good enough. You can see we went ahead and welded. So now I can select the geometry and go back into Quadra, and everybody should be a little bit more. Yeah, great. OK. So what I want to do now is actually take a look at this feature here. So we want to try to capture the curvature as much as possible. Without going crazy on the polygons. So I'm just going to march around it. And then we'll do something kind of similar on the inside.
And you can see there's like a this little this little bevel on the inside surface there. I'm not gonna worry about that. That should be captured pretty effectively. Whoops. And the baking process. Also, it's a fairly small feature. Okay. So I guess we'll just kind of run up the middle here. And you can see there's just a little bit of a need for some rebalancing. So nice and regular. That looks okay. I'm going to need to insert another edge loop here. And you do that just by holding control and clicking on a, on a ring and it'll go ahead and put the loop in. And what I want to do is basically figure out where this geometry is going to kind of live in terms of who it's going to, where it's going to kind of terminate. It's really a good idea if you can to try to avoid long, crazy triangles. You know, if I was to do something like, I don't know, like to have a point right there like that would, would be suboptimal. It's definitely better to just add a little extra geo and then you've got kind of nice, uh, consistently dense geometry. And Quadra is not going to allow you to, to uh, create triangles. But for geometry like this, where it's not actually going to deform, it's, it's a pretty good idea. So I want to kind of capture, I've got this curvature here. I don't really like what's going on with this guy. So I've got this curve and I, and I, I sort of want to, I want to support it as much as I possibly can in the retop. And generally when you've got multiple triangles coming to a point, you can definitely end up with baking errors. So what I, what I will typically do is for this kind of thing is I will like um, make my best guess and then if there's a baking error, I just address it. You know, one of the nice things about this pipeline is it's so flexible that if you need to change your mind about something, like for instance, I'm definitely gonna need to throw an extra edge loop in there that you can just, you can kind of do what you need to do. So if I, if I don't have something like this where there's, I guess maybe I'll keep this on the bottom. I want to do that. So I kind of need to have uh, a face that sits like that. So I'm actually going to because again, like there's a curvature there, and if I just put a single edge there, it might, it might kind of register incorrectly in the, uh, in the lighting. When you look at that in silhouette, so I want to make sure that I capture that without going, you know, without having too many uh, polygons. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and uh, we will pick this back up uh, in the next video.